cold. Today we're going to make hot French toast. Hello friends, welcome back to our Cubes and Fun with Kids channel. Now today we're going to make French toast. So for the ingredients, here we have five slices of bread. Again, you can take as much bread as you want depending on the quantity you're gonna make. And then here we've taken two eggs, a pinch of salt, and then for this, this is sugar and the cinnamon powder. We have granulated sugar like this, but we blended it, like we ground it to like a fine powder with the cinnamon so that it's easier to like combine with all the ingredients. And then here we have some vanilla extract. And then we have one cup of milk and then some butter. So now let's start. First thing you're gonna do is you wanna crack both your eggs. Bread would be preferred because you get a better taste for them. And with these eggs, we're going to add our sugar cinnamon mix. We'll add our vanilla extract. And we'll also add a pinch of salt. Now we're gonna mix it all together. And you wanna make sure it's blended nicely so that, cause you don't want like clumps of egg when you're eating with French toast. So we're just gonna get it till it's nice and like frothy. When it's frothy, it means that it's beaten nicely. Yeah, and like bubbles start to form. Okay, so now it's beaten somewhat. So we're gonna add the milk and mix it together. And we've taken milk here, but you can add heavy cream if you want. It makes it more decadent and makes like the dish taste like more richer. Just gonna give this a quick mix. The amount of ingredients will be posted in the description below. Yeah, and it, the amount will also vary depending on how much French toast you're making. Okay, so here we have it. Now we're going to take our bread and put both slices in the mixture. I'm just gonna let it, I guess, like soak for a little bit on each side, so there's like one side, and we'll flip it for the other side. You wanna make sure it's nice and like evenly coated so that you get an even taste throughout. There. And so now here we have our pan. So our pan's been, we have our pan at low to medium because we don't want it to be on a high because then it gets burned. And now we're going to add our butter. You can put a generous amount of butter. Butter always tastes nice. So there's our butter. And now we're going to add our French toast slices. Now for our French toast slices, it needs to be cooked for around two minutes on each side. And after two minutes, we'll flip it. Here we have our two French toasts. So now I'll just wait for two minutes and we'll flip it. And meanwhile, we'll put our other breads in the mixture. For the French toast, you want a nice when it's cooking, you want a nice, like, golden brown color. 
and now it's time to flip it because it's been two minutes. So we're gonna flip it. See, as you can see, it has all those nice golden brown colors. That's what it should look like when you flip it. Mm -hmm. And now we'll show you the decorating process. So it is now ready, and now it's time for our serving. Well, you can serve this with any type of fruit, such as strawberries, or you can serve it with jam. So, but today what we're going to be using is we're going to be using some powdered sugar and some maple syrup. So with the powdered sugar, you just want to take it like this and like give it a light dust on, on the French toast. And then... You want to take the syrup and just do like a quick like drizzle so that it looks like this. And now it's ready for us to eat. So don't forget to like us. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos and don't forget to check out our other videos.